hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys my wash day routine so we start with you know crusty old hair or whatever um i'm gonna be sectioning that into four sections and i pre-detangle before i go into the shower i used to detangle while um i like put my deep conditioner in but i stopped doing that only because i'm <clears throat> I'm very lazy, okay. Um, and the last time, well, the, it, it was the last time um, I did that. I pulled all my hair out because I was getting really fatigued in the shower, and I just wanted to get out. So I ripped through my hair, okay. Um, so yeah, I started. I start detangling my hair before I even shampoo it, um, so that will cut down on me being in the shower. Now, I know y'all see me using the brush, and I said that I was for the finger detangle for the rest of the year. But see what her hand was. Okay, let me just, let me explain myself. Let me explain myself, okay. Um, so, <laughs> when I decided that I was going to start finger detangling, I had forgotten that I ordered a Felicia Leatherwood brush, okay. And, um, I, uh, you know, one day i forgot why i even started using it i think oh because i i cut my hair so um that's another story but i'll tell you guys in a minute um so i cut my hair so i needed to get my hair you know very detangled in order for me to cut it so i opened the brush and i used it and i was like oh my god this brush is so bomb like when i tell you I feel like it takes out less hair than for me okay for me and my household okay it takes out a lot less hair than finger detangling for me and it's faster so yeah i absolutely love the felicia leatherwood brush and um you know uh, i mean i finger detangle a little bit before i go in with the brush as you guys can see but i definitely love this brush the brush that i was using that ripped my hair out was the denman brush and uh that's not a detangling brush okay it's a styling brush um and this brush is meant for detangling and it detangles beautifully it doesn't rip my hair out and yeah so <laughs> um as you guys saw i sprayed water on my hair that's all i do if my hair is like like um the reason that I don't add any like conditioner or anything to it is because I have product on my hair already. So like if I had just did a braid out or something where I didn't have that much product on my hair, then I would add the conditioner. But I have gel and leave-in conditioner and all that stuff on my hair. So I just used water and it kind of reactivates the product and I detangle my hair like that. Um, so I also want to mention that when if like I get any type of resistance at the roots, I add more water 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 okay um and i just want to tell y'all a little bit about why i cut my hair you guys know that my hair fell out da -da 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 -da. my hair was super uneven and because i wear my hair mostly in a wash and go state it looked weird like my ends were all scraggly and stuff and it was just it did not look cute so i needed to even it out a little bit and yeah i just i went in and i cut it off so if you guys have damaged ends and damaged hair don't be afraid to cut your hair cut it off it's gonna grow back like it's just hair um so i think i have said what i wanted to say for this clip so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch and then i'll come back and say what else i need to say really quickly if you guys are using a tool to detangle you want to always start from the ends and work your way up if you get any resistance then you go back over that section before continuing up your shaft because you will break your hair off all right let us go ahead and hop into the shower i detangle the rest of the sections and now we're in the shower i am drenching my hair with water okay get all that goodness out up in throughout there okay um and just getting that product off we're going in with our carol's daughter wash day delight shampoo this has become one of my new recent favorites um now this shampoo claims to not strip your hair it says it on the bottle however okay it strips your hair for me and my household okay i like that I love a good stripping shampoo because I feel like it's getting rid of every all the dirt, all the buildup and everything. So that way when I go to 
deep condition, my hair accepts it. So I love a good stripping shampoo. If it didn't, the only thing that like, is just that why would you claim that it's a non-stripping shampoo if it does strip your hair? Like it strips your hair girl, okay? But I like that. Um, and I love the fact that it comes with that little applicator thing and then it like it's, it turns from water to foam and listen my hair just be feeling squeaky clean but again yes it strips your hair so if you're someone that doesn't like a stripping shampoo then this ain't for you but if you do and you like your hair to be squeaky clean girl they're right hell they're right hell and as you guys see I wash my entire hair I go from my scalp and I wash my hair hair like I take the shampoo down to my hair because I have I do wash and goes mostly and there's a bunch of gel and all that stuff on my hair and I need my hair cuticles to be clean and fresh and open so that way when I put my moisture in it accepts it and I also like to keep my hair detangled while I shampoo and everything so that's why you see me twist it back up and that's why I wash my hair in sections now I'm trying the new well it's not new but I'm trying the texture ID deep treatment mask I believe that's what it's called and child let me tell you this is my first time using it and that thing was like but okay that thing was like butter all right um my holy 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 grail is the Aussie moist three minute miracle deep conditioner I'm not gonna stop raving about that product that's my favorite deep conditioner of all times but this texture ID right here girl that thing went through my hair like sloop <laughs> okay and uh, it was just it was amazing it was amazing it was amazing um so yeah go ahead keep watching and um if i have anything else to say you know i'm gonna come back and say it <laughs> okay Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the clips out of my hair and let my hair swing, you know, do its thing. I'm putting my plastic cap on and I leave that on for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then I'll come back and rinse it out. Now y'all, when I was rinsing, I know y'all see my face. When I was rinsing that thing out, it was just, oh, my hair felt so soft. Now that's the thing with deep conditioners, they feel great when you're applying them, but when you rinse that thing out, it's like, well, did I even put anything on my hair? But this deep conditioner, girl, <coughs> my hair felt great, okay? It was amazing. It just, oof, butter, <laughs> butter. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that out and keep my hair detangled by twisting it right back on up and putting it in them little clips because yeah, I didn't do all that work detangling my hair just for it to tangle right back up. See, I don't understand why people wash their hair like that, you know, just out all like that and then like, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But keep your hair in sections, keep it twisted after you're done and your hair will remain detangled. You ain't got to worry about all that stuff. So. Anyways, yes, go ahead, rinse the product out, and um, yeah.
thought I showed you guys what leave-in conditioner I use, but I guess I didn't. Um, so I'm using the Kinky Curly, is it Kinky Coily or Kinky Curly? Not today leave-in conditioner. That one, I put it up on the screen for you guys. Uh, I love this leave-in conditioner. Your hair be feeling so moisturized, okay? Um, so I'm just applying that to each section and what we gonna do, twist it right on back up, okay? Um, and I like to apply my leave-in conditioners in the shower where it's still nice and steamy okay keep that moisture in i don't understand how people just be putting products on their hair and letting it sit on top of their hair and then be mad and say that the product don't work what are you doing with your life work it in like especially if you have a low porosity here i don't understand i don't understand work that thing in and put some heat on your hair and let that thing accept that moisture okay so i'm gonna put that on there and twist it right back up Put my plastic cap on and honestly guys that is basically my wash day like that's all I do after I get out of the shower um I go to styling so I'm gonna go ahead let you guys watch until the end and if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button follow me on Instagram and I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye right here and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching